Hello everybody. Um, I just wanted to do a video on Linux Mint 12, um, mainly because it's using GNOME 3, which has been the subject of a lot of criticism lately. And uh, it's one of those love it or hate it kind of desktop environments. And uh, Linux Mint usually really tailors their operating system to the best interest of the user, so I figured you know why not make a video on this one because it's using GNOME 3 which is kind of got a lot of a lot of talk right now about it so first thing uh, here I am in Linux Mint 12 uh, now the first thing couple things you might notice about this operating system is um, one if you open Nautilus your file manager you are actually not just that, any window, um, you've got the minimize button and the maximize button, which is by default taken out of GNOME 3, and I haven't seen any distribution put it back yet, so that's really cool that they did that, because even though it's a minor change, I like it, and uh, even for people that don't use it, it's nice to have the option to use it, um, so it's there, it's cool. Uh, next thing that's pretty easy to notice right away is you've got a task manager down here and a menu which that's as far as I can tell looks like it's custom by Linux Mint I don't know if this is something that is another project in Linux and Mint is just using it or if they created this from scratch but it's a you know nice menu it looks just like a regular Mint menu would look like and you know it works and search up here for the applications it's good for the users that don't quite like this new menu system of, uh, of GNOME 3 so that's another really good change and, uh, and you know it's still using Nautilus which feels like a GNOME system it really does the only thing different is the uh, well, the only thing noticeably different is the interface. Okay, so the next thing now, this is something I'm surprised that no or uh, that Linux Mint didn't include in GNOME 3. Um, let me show you. If we go to our, well, let me zoom in here. If we go to our system settings, this is basically uh, like a control panel kind of thing, a control center for GNOME 3 and it's not the best I'm hoping it matures but one of the things that's really kind of I don't know why they did this if you go to user accounts um, the only things you can change are you can add new users change the password uh, automatic login just little settings that's what you see here is all you can change other than adding a new user and removing existing users you can't add what groups they're a part of anything like that so luckily it's you know easy enough to fix the fix would obviously be installing the package that contains users and groups which I'll show you uh, that is the wrong window sorry uh, open up synaptic package manager and I believe it's GNOME System Tools. Yeah, that's it. GNOME System Tools. And uh, you'll see here, Users and Groups is a part of that package. So if you install that package, you get uh, Users and Groups. And here you go. This is where you have all the... Uh, all the cool stuff, manage groups and whatnot. Okay, so going right down the list here. <laughs> Another thing I don't like about the uh, system settings, let's go back to that for a second. Um, printers. This printer applet is in dire need of uh, some kind of TLC. <laughs> it needs to be updated. It needs um, it just it's very difficult to add a network printer and it's really in dire need of having that feature improved um, so another thing you might want to do is uh, Linux Mint actually installed the icon for the old 
printer um, manager that we're used to from the old versions of Ubuntu. Uh, if you remember from, I think, 11.04 had it, 10.04 uh, had it, but um, anyway, they put an icon there. For some reason, it doesn't come up in the menu, so you would most likely have to run the command. If you hit Alt and F2 or run it from the terminal, just type uh, system config printer. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. And then this is where you can add network printers. And if you're having trouble accessing the network, it's that same problem that all the new distributions seem to be having with browsing window shares. Um, if you see my video on how to fix that, then you should have no problem adding a printer, a network printer. Okay, next. Um, now this isn't really a Linux Mint 12 thing, but the Wine Program Group. Uh, let's see. Let's go take a look at that Wine Program Group. Um, you get icons here that it, sometimes the applications when you uninstall them don't always remove the icons. Actually, a lot of times they don't. It's more often than not that I have a bunch of icons scattered in here that I don't even use anymore. So, um, the fix for that is you go to your home folder and go to uh, dot local, the dot local folder inside your home folder. Go to share and applications, and then you'll see this wine folder programs and then this is where all the programs are so anything that you want to get rid of you delete from this uh, folder and it won't show up in the menu anymore now let's see and oh and uh, also if you want to remove programs from the main GNOME menu also not a Linux Mint thing it's a GNOME 3 thing uh, but figured might as well get some of this stuff out of the way um, you have to go to uh, user share applications and here's all the icons so you have to open them as root which conveniently in Linux Mint you can just right click open as administrator and then you can make your change um, you can either some of them don't have icons if you wanted to add an icon to something that you use often and prefer having an icon then you can do that or delete icons for whatever reason or add new ones um, but as of now GNOME 3 doesn't let you make changes from this menu it just doesn't <laughs> so that's something I hope GNOME 3 improves so this is the way you have to add icons if you want to add more <clears throat> that don't get added when you install new programs uh, okay so Another thing I noticed is uh, the run dialog, not often, I don't have this problem all the time, but a couple of times I had it freeze on me when I'm trying to run a standard command, not something that's, you know, like an application that would freeze the system. It seems like, I don't know what it is, it just hangs up, so that's something, can't really do anything about it, um, just hope it gets fixed. And another bug I found was when you're copying files, the uh, the file operations window, the window that says how much progress your copy or move has made, it'll show how much of the files copied or moved. That tends to disappear. Actually, it hasn't lately. Um, when I first installed this, it was doing it, but maybe some. Uh, updates took care of it, but that would disappear if I minimized it. It would have no entry down here in the taskbar, and that was a, not a huge problem, but it does kind of uh, put a damper on things when I don't know if my file's done copying or not, if, uh, if I can delete it or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it for uh, my little review on GNOME 3 and Linux Mint 12. It's a great system. It, I mean, it works. You can see things just come right up when you double click on them. and It's a fast moving system. Um, so I really have no problems with it other than 
just some minor bugs and it just needs to mature a little bit but uh other than that it really is the bet it really is the best gnome 3 based linux or uh, gnome 3 ubuntu based distribution of linux um so if you're looking for that new tablet style interface uh in linux and if you want ubuntu based as your uh, distribution as your linux core then mint 12 is definitely the way to go um, and they also have mate which is i'm not going to get into right now i haven't tested it at all but uh it's still in its early stages but if you're familiar with gnome 2 and that's what you want to use mate should be basically a good clone of gnome 2 for the users that uh that don't want to switch over to gnome 3 but i think that's about all i have to say for uh for gnome 3 and linux mint 12 but it's a solid operating system and you know i think anybody who's willing to open their minds to this new desktop style will definitely like it and uh, oh one last thing this is just a gnome 3 uh, something i noticed that i really like that gnome 2 didn't have and i, I couldn't figure out why uh, basically I, let me see if i can find something here uh, let me open a new terminal window um, what it does is it these thumbnails when you hit the window key or if you click uh, stick your mouse in the corner of the screen or click the uh, menu button uh, these thumbnails are real time even if you minimize the window which is cool uh, so GNOME 2 didn't have that KDE 4 does it has the th window thumbnails and uh, even if you minimize them it shows you the last snapshot taken from the application before you minimized it um, and GNOME didn't have that it made it feel very cheap but this one you know obviously see I minimize it and then I bring up here and you still get a nice preview and actually I believe um, if I minimize this that gear window I just had open you can see it's still running and uh, you know it, it shows a real-time screenshot or not screenshot but real-time capture of what the video is doing so that's pretty cool uh, you know right in your menu you've got these live previews you can see if there's an application you want to check on maybe something compiling in the terminal you want to see if it completed um, so that's you know you can just hit the window key if it's not done go back to what you're doing and uh, you don't have to do too much uh, to go out of your way to see what's going on in another window so I really like that and you can zoom in with the mouse wheel and see you know get a closer look at these windows and uh, they'll zoom all the way to their full actual size you can see this this gear window will go bigger than what it originally was but it'll go to its full size just like the terminal goes to its full size so I thought that was really cool uh, definitely one of the best improvements to uh, to gnome so and now I think that really is it <laughs> but uh, hopefully um, hopefully all the people out there who are skeptical on gnome 3 will give it a shot and like it I certainly think it's a huge improvement and uh, enjoy your Linux mint 12 system if you decide to get it